Bye, Kelly. Just gonna give some people some time to come on. Oh, where'd Kelly go? Hi guys, welcome. We'll get started in just a minute. Just gonna give people a few seconds to get on. Good to see you. Welcome to meditation. Yay! Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes. All right. Just giving people a couple, one more minute to get on. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, those people will have to just come on when they come on. So let's get started. So we're going to start with some nost alternate nostril breathing. So take your thumb and your pointer finger and then place your thumb over your right nostril. And you're gonna inhale on your left, inhale. And then close out your left nostril and exhale on your right. And then inhale on your right. And then close out your right and exhale on your left. And then inhale on your left. Close on your left, exhale on your right. Inhale on your right, close, exhale on your left. Inhale on your left, close, exhale on your right. And then keep repeating that. So the reason why we're doing this is to help balance. It's actually really beneficial for your mind and for balancing the hemispheres of your brain and also for your breathing, to help with your breathing. So if you're just coming in now, Julie, um, we're gonna inhale, close your right nostril with your thumb, inhale on your left, hold it and then close it on the left side, exhale on your right. Again, inhale on your right, close, exhale on your left. Inhale on your left, close, exhale on your right. And then keep going. So inhaling and exhaling. So this is extremely beneficial for your I'm gonna tell you a few more things of why it's um, beneficial. Basically, it helps settle the mind, body, and emotions, and you can use it to quiet your mind before beginning meditation practice. And it's particularly helpful to ease racing thoughts if you are experiencing anxiety, stress, or having even trouble falling asleep. It's called Nadi Shodhana, Nadi Shodhana. And it helps create balance in, in breathing flow. So if you lost your track or you keep, your, your, keep doing it, great. If you're confused again, let me, do, let me start again. So close off your right nostril with your thumb. Inhale on your left side. Close and then exhale on the right. Inhale on the right, 
Close. Exhale on the left. Inhale on the left. Close, exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. Close, exhale on the left. Inhale on the left. Close, exhale on the right. Okay, and then release your hands and just close your eyes and just breathe normally. And just notice any changes, any feelings that you're having now as a result of taking that meditation. Super powerful. Feeling a lightness in your body, a lightness in your mind. A lightness of energy. Kelly, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Kelly, we practice alternate nostril breathing and we will do that next week so you can experience that. But now that we're done with alternate nostril breathing, we will begin our meditation. Close your eyes. And I want you to envision a giant pearl, a pearl of light, big giant pearl of light. And let that pearl of light hover over your head. And let that pearl of light enter into your heart. Let it enter your heart. And let it come and shine right into your heart center. Allow that pearl of light to travel from your heart up to your neck and following your spine. Let that pearl follow and the coil of your spine as it makes its way to your base of your spine. Allow that pearl of light to make its way to the base of your spine. And imagine that you have a, a, a string that's going from the base of your spine all the way to the top of your head. So imagine you have this invisible light that's taking your base of your spine all the way to the top of your head. And then that pearl begins to make its way throughout your body. And maybe it goes to the right side, to the left side. Maybe it goes down to your thighs, to your legs. Just let it go everywhere. Let it decorate your body. Let it decorate your body. And that light makes its way, that pearl of light makes its way up through your shoulders to your throat. And then all the way up to the top of your head. And your body is so relaxed and so at one at peace with yourself. And that's why we started off the class today with the alternate nostril breathing to help with calming the body and the mind and the emotions. Because so that's what meditation is. It's allowing us to calm the body, the mind and the emotions. So that when we experience something difficult in life, we can feel the feelings because we really can feel the feelings and experience them full and fully in our body, but not become victims of the feelings, not let the feelings take over and compromise our serenity. We've all experienced loss, We've all, you know, no one, no one is immune from the perils of humanity of at some point, we're all going to get older, right? We're all going to experience the loss of loved ones and things like that. That's inevitable. We could try to live forever and 
there's a lot of mythologies that ascribe to that and different gods and whatnot. But at the end of the day, what comes back is that peaceful soul purpose, right? That peaceful that we talked about. And I sent my email, I said, meditation is good for the soul. And coming back to what your soul's purpose is. What is your soul's purpose? A continual theme as we make our way through the meditation. Seeing that pearl shooting out from the top of our head, that's our crown that connects us with the divine energy of light, the crown chakra. How are you connecting with that divine energy in your life? Where is your divine third in the relationship between you, another person, and your higher power, God? the universe, mother nature, whatever you call it. Or are you focusing on the ego? There's an acronym for ego. It's easing God out. Of course, you can substitute the word God for something else, but it doesn't really work if you're trying to use the acronym ego. And that's when, that's when we come back to our our, emo our, our emotions or stress or whatever it is when we allow the ego to take over. And we're gonna get too complacent in our connection to our higher power. So remembering to come back here to this place of connect connection and divine energy. Continue to breathe as you observe your breath. Inhale. Exhale. And we're gonna close our practice today the way that we began because there are a few people who came a little on the later side. So I want them to get the full benefits of the Nodi Shadana. So let's close the way we began. And this will make you more productive today anyway and energize you as you move into the rest of your day and your evening and your weekend as I won't see you till next Tuesday. So bring your thumb to your right nostril you point your finger to your, it's going to be ready to go. So inhale on your left nostril. Close it and then exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. 
close. Exhale on the left. Inhale on the left. Close, exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. Close, exhale on the left. Inhale on the left. Close, exhale on the right. Last time, inhale on the right. Exhale on the left. Come back to center. Open your eyes and take a big breath in. And a clean, clearing breath out. And if you wanted to read more about Nodi Shadana, I'm just going to share with you my screen. You can just Google Nodi Shadana and a few uh, resources will pop up. This is a nice one from the Chakra, Chakra, Chakra Center. And they talk about the benefits here. It supports your ability to focus the mind, supports your lungs and respiratory functions, restores balance to the left and right hemispheres of the brain, clears the en energetic channels, rejuvenates the nervous system, removes toxins. Hey, that's great. Settle stress. So this is an example. And then it gives you a description here, but you can also, look it up on YouTube, okay? So that's a little thing I would share with you guys. Thank you so much, namaste. Bring your meditation into your weekend, hopefully. Whatever you do, it's a beautiful, hopefully a beautiful weekend. It's so good to see you guys. And um, yeah, thank you for coming. Take care. Bye, David, Kelly, Julie. Bye. Thank you, Kelly. Glad you made it.